Hey everyone, and welcome back to Drill Dozer, where today we are in some sort of uh, office place for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. We are kind of in Skulker Factory, right? So what are we doing here? We have no idea. And yeah, we previously we dealt with two mini bosses. Uh, one was a smiling crane, and the second was two bugger tanks. We dealt with them the easy way, but uh, you know, today I think we will proceed through all of this location. Uh, so yeah, we will have a big boss this time around at the end. Ooh, blue block, yeah, but can go through this one. And uh, Candelabra! So we we'll just hop on it, and yeah, we we'll just drill. So yeah, we had... Sort of like mini bosses, which were pretty easy ones, but today there will be the big dude of this whole location. And the music intensifies! By the way, uh, if you'll fall down here, you'll be at the start of this uh, whole place almost, so don't do that. Don't fall down. So, yeah. What is this place anyway? I thought this is a Skulker Factory! Okay, we'll just wait for this jumping guy. Ha! Yeah, because uh, when you try to deal with him on the stairs here, uh, it will be pretty hard to do, so we'll just wait for him. Okay, so let's switch to third gear and... Allez, hop! Just like that. Here we go. Ooh. Well, now we are definitely in the office. Yeah, um, these guys who are jumping there, be careful of these guys because, uh, well, they have electricity! So, yeah. Don't go mad with your drill here, because even if you touch them with your drill when they have this electricity, you'll take damage anyway, so have to be careful. Ooh. What is this? Well, now it looks like, I don't know, like my previous work location or something. Like, for real. But I left that job. Nah. So let's destroy it. Why not? Careful. Wait, let me check. Uh, yeah, where are we? Business department. Okay. And by the way, guys, I was kind of telling you, I think in the first episode, uh, that, uh, well, this game features a rumble pack built in it. So basically, uh, whenever something happens, your whole Game Boy Advance is vibrating. And you may ask, uh, well, when is it vibrating? Well, whenever you see the overlay, when I'm drilling, then your whole Game Boy Advance is vibrating, so that's how it is working. Pretty nice feature, I really liked in PlayStation 1 games uh, when they have this uh, dual shock feature. It kinda gets you more action, you know, from the game that way, so that's kinda... Wall. To squeeze through gaps and walls that you can't drill through, you just crouch and press A to dash and shoot the gap. Yeah, which works, well, that way, as you can see. What is this, like Metal Gear now? What the hell is that? Okay, here you have to be careful because uh, there are these flying dudes. There we go. So let's deal with this one first. Careful. Come on. Ow! Took damage anyway. <laughs> Wait, careful. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay, wait, let me deal with... Yeah, with him that way. Pretty awkward spot to deal with these guys. So. Ooh, life energy! Okay, here... Let me try something. Let's do like this. Ha! I want to deal with these guys. Sometimes they can drop chips, so... Not much, but... Well, at least something. Hey, yeah! Ooh, I see there's a red chest, but, uh, yeah, you see, here we have sort of like this, uh... Puzzle? With this mechanic, with this one. So let's do like this, like this. And here, I want to stand just on the edge here. Yeah, so I can uh, grab this chest here, because if I'll stand not on the edge, I'll just uh, use this mechanic here, and then just fall down that way, so be careful. 
Alright, that's it for this business department. What's next? Some more stairs. Here, I think if you fall down, let's just wait for this guy. Ow! Here, I think if you'll fall down... Well, on the stairs you can fall down here, but... Uh, here, I think you can. So, uh, don't do that, because uh, you'll fall down in the previous stairs, uh, if you remember. So you have to go all the way back here again. So, yeah. Alright, what's this? Again, business department, no? Planning department! Okay! So what are we planning here? Uh, how to build skulkers? Or uh, something? Yeah... Here you can pretty much destroy everything. Uh, and game kinda wants you to, because you have third gear right now. So you can just go mad, you know, and just go through all of these uh, chairs, tables, and whatever. But as you can see here we have these jumping guys, so you'll eventually just ram into them and take damage. So you have to be, anyway, careful here and not go mad with your drill. You know? So, yeah. Maybe I can have some drinks here? No? Nah. Oh well. Ooh, nice chips. Many, many chips. Okay, I see... Yeah, blue block, which I can't go through, but remember that block for later. Many of these blue blocks, well, some of them, uh, well, many of them, <laughs> many of them just... They're just there for shortcuts. And maybe some of them even have chips, but uh, most of them are kind of useless. But some of them are pretty needed. Wait, here I think uh, I need to switch to sword gear, yeah. Because uh, some of them uh, feature loca- well, they give you access to locations where you can get uh, treasures. So, yeah. I don't know if I'll be showing- uh, come on. I don't know if I'll be showing, um, like, shortcuts and uh, these blocks which have just chips in them, because I don't think that's too interesting. I think I'll just show off, uh, like, places where you can drill through these blue or metal blocks, and which have treasure uh, if you go through that place. Ooh, music stops. Hmm. Hey. What's here? Hey, diamond! Well, let, let's just take it. No, wh what the hell is that? What, have you ever heard of knocking? It drives me insane when people do that. Hey, what the hell is that guy? Alien Hominid? Is that you? No? Or Link from The Legend of Zelda? Who the hell is this guy? That's Krug! He's the evil mega boss of the Skulkers! Oh, so, so the bad guy, the, the big bad guy, okay. But he has the diamond! We were like searching for this uh, thing for, for five episodes. That's the red diamond they stole from us! And don't they know your mom left you that when she died? Oh, so that's why we are after this diamond, so now it makes sense now. So it was a... It was kind of like a memento from our mom. So yeah, that's why uh, this red diamond is so precious to us, I guess. Okay, so now it makes sense. I can't believe they would stoop that low! Well, they're the bad guys. Only the most repulsive villain would do something like that. A villain? Ha! Huh. That's pretty rich, coming from a gang of thieves! Well, who are you then? You are thieves as well. Only we are kinda good thieves, but you're the bad ones. No, uh, this guy, he kinda is green, right? So we had bugger tanks, right? So this guy, I guess, is kinda... Bugger master! Because he's green. Tough luck! I stole it fair and square. But if you really wanted that badly... Nah, I think I'll keep it. Ta-ta! And he flies away. Crap! Dang, he's getting away! 
go get him! Well, let's do that, but you know, first, uh, I am uh, mad. I'm mad because he stole our red diamond, so let's just destroy his furniture. That's right. And stack as well. No, can't? Can't destroy the stack? Why can't I make him root of the red-nosed reindeer? For some reason, I can't do that. I can't drill through his nose, and he can't be like that. Ah, never mind. Okay, so he went there to the roof, I guess, or uh, something. Where are we now, anyway? What is this place? President's room. Hmm. Uh, is, was that the president? <laughs> I could adopt it, really. Hmm, and some menacing looking door. You know what that means, guys. You know what that means. Door. Good. Music stops. Not good. No elevator music. This is even worse. Okay, the roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. Hmm, this place kind of looks like uh, the first level of the game. Uh, uh, Skulker hideout a bit. What is this uh, one? Rooftop stairs. Okay. Let's get that life energy. Yeah, you know what's up, guys. You know what's up. You know what will be happening uh, on the rooftop. You can feel it. Okay, let's do this. Hmm, nice. Sunny, at least. That's cool. HQ rooftop. Okay. Well, let's go. Oh god. Booger Master Tank! Hey, Shuri, I'm over here! <laughs> Give our, our diamond back, bastard! Oh my god! Scorpion tank, Jesus Christ! Well, I have a drill on my own as well. If you want your precious red diamond back, you have to beat me. Oh my god, you know, although that big drill is as big as the dozer and the chill herself, Jesus Christ. Well, can we stand against it? Let's find out. I don't have much to worry about, because that will never happen. <laughs> oh god. Call in the moment like this? You have to be kidding. Watch out for that scorpion dozer's wicked tail! Okay, so this uh, big uh, daddy is a scorpion dozer. All right. You know that thing with the big drill on the end? Well, yeah, I, it's like in front of my eyes. Jesus Christ. When he uses that drill, give him a taste of his own awful medicine. All right, let's do this. Yeah! So, you know, with this boss, um, okay, he uses this uh, big tail, but you have to touch it only when you are in the second gear and above, because if you touch it when you're in the first gear only, uh, he he'll damage you. You won't be able to stand up against his drill. So, yeah, that's what works. And occasionally he uh, drops some uh, bombs, which have pretty really awkward pattern. Ah! Ah! Yeah, you see? <laughs> so it's kinda hard to... hard to understand this pattern of these bombs. But uh, otherwise, this boss... Well... Pretty easy one. Yeah. Here we go. I and don't stand too close to him because uh, well, he'll damage you. Yeah! Okay, here we go. That's it. Now we can just grab our red diamond and go home. No? Game? You got spunked. I have to admire that. But all the spunk in the world isn't gonna save you! <laughs> hey! The diamond! Oh, hey, you know that red diamond I swiped from you? Well, yeah, you can, uh... You can remind me of Dr. Robotnik for some reason, because uh, we have diamonds, like emeralds here, and you have, like, this big robot, and we are kinda Sonic. I don't know, maybe Game Freak kinda stole the idea from that. <laughs> I have no idea. 
I figured out how to harness its awesome destructive power! Oh my god. <laughs> oh Jesus. Alright, second phase. Now he turns into a big, big spider. And he does the same thing. He, um, well, as you can see, he opens his mouth, and whenever he does, he does that, then you have to drill into his mouth, and he also summons bombs like the previous time. But this time around, bombs have some pattern which is easy to avoid. So yeah, that's how this boss is working. Whoa, I saw something shiny in that scorpion's mouth! Well, yeah, that's probably uh, our red diamond. Aha, uh -huh, I've got it! When it opens its mouth, give it a drill, but I don't want to destroy the red diamond, come on! Maybe there's a, some other way, no? Uh, probably not. Okay, let's do this. Well... Ha! Okay, that was a... Uh... Okay, now, now it works. Yeah, you have to jump uh, to reach his mouth. Okay, bomb time. Hop! 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 Here we go. Ah! Hey! Okay, that that, 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 that didn't work. Yeah, sometimes he kind of tricks you like that. Here you see? So... Ah. Well? Well? No? Okay. Let's wait a bit. Maybe now. No? No! Oh, come on, man. He's afraid of me. No! Eh. Okay, wait. Careful. No. Come on! Well, yeah, not now I need to attack him. But here we go. Now you won't run away from me! Whew! Got him, finally! And yeah, we have some fucking explosions as well. It's game over, right? We get to die, because this explosion looked like the whole game exploded. Basically. That was pretty impressive for a pink-haired, ponytailed red dozer. Well, yeah, my Pac-Man is kinda cool, you know. You beat me, so I guess I have to give you back this red diamond. Uh, yes please. Come on, give it to us. Yeah, right. Ha! Like I'm going to go to the trouble to steal it only to give it away. You bastard! <laughs> and now he makes that laugh, yeah. Oh god! He stole the diamond anyway, so yeah, as you can see guys, uh, the game is not over yet. No, of course no. We still have a lot of things to do, a lot of levels to go through, so yeah, it's not over yet. But what should we do now? That guy kind of run away. Oh no! After all that, Krug ran off with our red diamond. Well, yeah, kind of bastard move there. And we're not gonna stop hunting him until we steal it back. Word on the street is they headed for the art gallery. Oh, really? Oh, some guy stopped by to visit. I'd never seen him before. Who is that? Oh, you don't know him? That's an old buddy of mine that runs this shop. Ooh, a shop. You should grab as many chips as you can while you're roaming around. Then you can spend them at his shop to buy all kinds of great stuff. You can buy energy tanks from him and use them to upgrade your drill dozer. Well, uh, this is what we'll be doing right now. Do you want to save? Yes. So yeah, as you can see now, there's this old grandpa to the left. This dude. So, this is our shop, so now he's available here. So we can buy different upgrades from him. Um, as you can see, for now, he only sells energy tanks. Uh, he sells other items, but a little bit later in the game, so we can't uh, buy them for now. But as you can see, we have enough money for uh, one energy tank, so let's buy that. Yes! And yeah, as you can see now, uh, next to our energy, there appears 
sort of like a green dot next to it, which means uh, that we have uh, one other health bar. So basically now we have two health bars. So that's how these energy tanks are working. And as you can see, we have another energy tank to buy. He has many of these things. I mean, eventually they'll run out when we buy all, all of them. But uh, now we can buy even more, like uh, buy another one. So let's do that. Yes, more life energy. Yeah, so now we have uh, in total three health bars. So that's pretty kick-ass. Don't have enough money for the next one, but uh, well, I'll buy it whenever I have chips. So yeah, that's how uh, the shop is uh, working. Come back soon with more chips. All right, dude. One more uh, thing that I wanted to show off. We got that treasure from the previous um, level. So let's check them out. Uh, as you can see, we have a lot of them. I already told you that. We have 31 treasure in this game. Uh, for now, we have only this round stone. Uh, you might wonder, can we use them or something? Uh, the answer is no. They're sort of like uh, just achievements like in the Steam, for example, just for your swag, so to speak. Years of rain and wind have shaped this stone into a perfect sphere. Kinda looks like a materia from Final Fantasy games, like from Final Fantasy VII. And yeah, as you can see, well, if you may notice, um, some of these treasures, they are kinda... have one color. For example, here we have only one color, and here we have, like, yellow color. You may ask why. Well, you see, these treasures, they are kinda divided into groups. Uh, so that's how it is working. For example, that stone, which we have, which is uh, in a gray colored spot. Well, not gray, like brown. Uh, it is a part of the stone series, so to speak. So that's how these sets are working. So yeah, and as I said, all these treasures, they are only needed uh, for the post-game stuff. So for now, they are not too interesting to us. We will be only collecting them throughout the game and don't touch them, like, at all for the rest of the game, almost. So, yeah. And, yeah, guys, uh, I think that's it for today. Let's go to our map. Yeah, Area 2 Art Museum is the next destination we need to go. Uh, again, we have two acts, like in the previous level. So, yeah, guys, that's it for today, and uh, will the Red Diamond be finally here? Or we will drill some art instead? We'll find out next time on Let's Play Drill Dozer. Uh, so, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in next part.